I did my MSc honors in particle physics from Punjab University, which is why Punjab is very close to my heart. And I decided to do a PhD on the foundations of quantum theory, for which I was going to Canada. But before leaving, I wanted to carry my best memories with me. So I went off on a trek. My father had been a forest conservator. I'd grown up in the mountain forests of the Himalaya in Garhwal. I was born there. And I go to walk in this oak forest, which is no more an oak forest. It's been chopped down for an apple orchard in an area where apples never really grew. So you don't hear of Chamba apples. You hear of Himachali apples and you hear of Kashmir apples. And of course, the dumping of Washington apples. And the stream was a trickle. A stream in which one could swim was now just up to my ankles. So on the way back, I stopped at the Dhaba, waiting for the bus to bring me back to Delhi. And I talked about how these forests and rivers that I took for granted were being destroyed. And this Dhaba wala, chai wala, making a nice chai for me, says, but now there's hope, Chipko has started. I said, what on earth is that? And he said, women are coming out now to say we're going to hug the trees and we won't let you cut them and you'll have to kill us before you kill the tree. I was going off for a PhD, but I took a pledge in my heart. Every vacation, winter, summer, I'm going to come back and volunteer for Chipko. I did that from the early 70s up to 81 when we got a logging ban. And I used to be the scribe for the movement. I used to be the documenter of the movement. I joke sometimes, I say, you know, with the hierarchy of knowledges that has been created very artificially, if you're a peasant woman, your knowledge doesn't count. If you speak in Garhwali, it doesn't count. If you speak in Hindi, it doesn't count. But the minute you do English and the minute you make a graph, suddenly that digested knowledge. So I used to put all the knowledge of the women into English reports and graphs. And that's how we managed to get a logging ban. It was the first victory of the contemporary ecology movement. 